It's a bit like cooking with the Marsdens this week. Anyway, tonight we are having lamb stew. But this is a recipe from my mum's old recipe book, which, believe it or not, <laughs> it might sound dodgy, but she actually bought it off the milkman, apparently. Back in the day, when I was a child, I think the milkman used to sell other things apart from milk and eggs and things. And that's what she told me anyway, that this, uh, this book was purchased through the milkman kind of thing. But anyway, if anyone else has this cookery book, um, do comment and let us know because it's an old book. I'm just going to uh, show you it. This is it. It's the Dairy Book of Home Cookery. Um, revised, where is it? Revised edition. Um, I'm not actually quite sure who, it's, who wrote it. As you can see, it's very 70s style. But there's so many amazing things in here and really simple as well because obviously when um, our parents were younger, maybe you didn't buy such posh meats and, and in fact this lamb recipe suggests using scrag end of lamb but the nearest thing i can find actually cost a fortune and i probably could have went to the butchers but i've just been buying a um, neck of lamb um, and it falls to bits when i cook it with this pearl barley so it's basically lamb onion fried in butter and pearl barley with stock and you just simmer it and simmer it until it's all falls to bits and it goes like a lovely amazing stew form and in the back of here as well the back of this cookery book i've got in it the mum must have been on some wine and eggs diet one egg what's that say there oh so it's a black coffee this is things she, what she wrote down when i was she should have been younger than me when she actually wrote some of these things down different diets that she was on like lunch dinner abc different categories this is the one I'm interested in. The alcohol. I can't actually focus in with my phone on what it says there. Um, sauces, lunch, breakfast, all different diet arrangements that were obviously in fashion. Right, so, so I'm frying my onions and this is my um, neck of lamb. So I'm going to put some, uh, just put a bit of flour over it, just coat it in flour like this. I quite like stuff like this as long as it's dry. I don't like me getting my hands all messy. Okay, mixture of stuff. Um, so I've got four of these. Um, yeah, this 70s cookery book. All sorts of sauces and uh, old fashioned, fashionable dishes that we would probably laugh at now if we were uh, to serve them up at a party. Apart from the fact we would have no one at the party. Not like the 70s. And you could have people around. But anyway, so, um, yeah. There's loads of uh, exciting, simple dishes in here. So when these are fried up a little bit, I'm going to add some pearl barley. I'll read the measurements. I think you can just add as much as you want, really. It depends how much you want in your meal. And stock. And that is it, and it just sits there and simmers. I'm actually going to put it in the oven as well, just because I think it dried up too quick on there before, so I put it in the oven. And you do leave it quite a while, just so all your lambs are disintegrated into your pearl barley, and then it is amazing. We've had it with little new potatoes before. Tonight I've actually got it some. Um, tonight I'm not after doing potatoes. I'm doing. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Three weeks later. Sugar snap peas and baby corn. Many months later. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's coming because he's concerned. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. Well, he puts that mash with it. I've been mashed with pearl barley, but they want a white blob of food. I thought we were lottery. Please, sir, man. Uh, I thought we were lottery. Like, no such luck, mate. You've, you've got marsh too yeah, instead. You, you've now it's time for the stock and the pearl barley is in there as well. Um, again, I just kind of make my own measurements up. From past experience when I did this last time, the pearl barley was just not enough. The recipe of book actually says two tablespoons. What? I'm feeding four. I don't know how many people it's for, maybe one in the milkman. <laughs> so anyway, I've, um, I've put like probably half a tub of pearl barley in, half a packet. 
and some stock. Obviously, we're having veg with it, but it's just if you run out, if you don't have enough pearl barley, then you're thinking, I might have to do potatoes, <laughs> which it adds joy. So I'm going to put a bit more water in a second. Oh, and it's just the most loveliest thing. When that when that lamb gets cooked, it all just flakes into the pearl barley. It's an amazing dish. I've just come across some really funny things in this book. I mean, it's got fondues for every occasion. Tuna fondue. I mean, some of them don't sound too bad. Um, spicy fondue. Uh, what's this one here? Winter milk punch. What? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Six tablespoons of brandy. Rum. Oh, might not be too bad, actually. Not so for the kids, but me and Dad might know that. Hot spiced milk. Spanish coffee, Jamaican coffee, French coffee, Russian coffee, Scotch coffee, Irish coffee. Dishes from Europe. So we have Belgian dishes, France, Denmark, patties there. Germany, Holland, Italy, Dutch, I, don't, I can't pronounce that, Yats, oh, Hotel, what? what on What on earth is Junket? Maybe I'm missing a trick here, but I've never heard of that. Very simple by the looks of things. We have here a plain family pudding, double crust fruit pie, coconut pudding. We've got a cabinet pudding. Something you could uh, stand on your cabinet, I think. <laughs> We've got popovers. If you want a popover for a popover, then do it after lockdown. Wow, green dragon mayonnaise. We have a whole section on offal recipes, veal recipes. A lot of your unusual. Oh, oh that's not. Oh, it just shows you what cut is what there. Look. A lot of your old-fashioned cuts of meat. So you cheaper but really nice tasty ones if you know what to do with them and you've got this book in your hand cold spaghetti creams anyone hot cheese cups that sounds a bit better in the back of the cookery book i found some um paper recipes that i've obviously torn out of magazines and kept now i do remember making that one one boxing for boxing day one year chocolate cherry trifle that was amazing it's like black forest cherry trifle and these ones I've obviously kept to do and I haven't actually done them yet. Cherry bacon slices. Oh no, this one I have done. This was lovely as well. It's um, a, a beef and noodle stir fry. Very nice. But I must do this. Oh, watch this space. And here's the finished result. And she did me some potatoes. <laughs> but it looks, and I'm sure it will taste absolutely gorgeous. Comics took in.